Hello and welcome to another quick tip. As you can read in this quick tip, I will show you very quickly how you can export a fracture sim to Alembic. Let's close this. Okay. So what I have here is a very simple bomb setup. Uh, there's another quick tip on how to set up bombs if you are interested. It's one of the previous ones. But that is not the purpose of this uh, lesson. What I will show you here is how you can export this to Alembic and re-import re it uh, in uh, Maya or in any other application that uses Alembic. That is obviously the whole idea of Alembic, whether it be Katana or Houdini or whatever. So. You, in this case, I have baked out the simulation to disk, uh, but that is not really necessary. You can uh, immediately bake to Alembic. But if you go to the takes UI and you go to the bottom, it has here an export to Alembic uh, section. If you just click on the little file chooser icon, uh, you can choose, you can create a file. I have already one here, so I'm just gonna choose it and override it. So do you wanna override it? Yes. And then you just hit export. It will say, you know, it's already there. You are sure you want to do that? Yes. And you will see it will run through the timeline. It will write it to Alembic. Um, and now all you have to do is you import it back in. So I'm just going to create a new Maya scene. I'm going to go to the pipeline cache option. This is Maya 2013, by the way. And I'm going to go import Alembic. I'm going to go to my project cache Alembic. And in there, this is the rough sim that I just uh, that I just exported. Import it. Now just wait for a bit. And there we go. Okay, easy as that. Now one thing that you note, there you go. That's more frames, so I'll just change that. Now one thing that you can notice is that it only uh, exported the meshes that were in uh, that were attached to the simulator. So you know, if you would want the other meshes to be exported as well, which is you know, this might make things a bit heavy for heavier scenes like whole buildings or spaceship explosions or whatever. So, you know, it's better to just export uh, the Alembic stuff or the stuff that you want to export to Alembic, just that. And then you can import uh, however you want to import the, the non simmed geometry. Anyway, that's it. Very easy and very useful.